Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would share a flip through of the accordion junk journal that I made on May the 23rd. So here is what it looks like with the tie on it. It is six inches by eight and a half inches. Watch my last two live streams, and I'll have the links in the description box to see how it was put together. On the cover, I have a pocket and some handmade paper that I made. I recycled some papers, had a word shop, and a bunch of ladies came and we played. And then I've got a little card here and a little cluster. Then this flips over and inside there is a pocket. I just used some plain cardstock here. This is from Amarillo Rose as well as this image. This was scrapbook paper. And I think this is from Shabby Spring from Calico Collage. This was some stationery that I had in my stash. This was coffee dyed paper that I folded to replicate a envelope. And I used an image from the Victorian Rose. And this is the Corner Roses rubber stamp. This is the White Glider rubber stamp. The Postal Cube. And again, the corner roses. Over here I made a little pocket. The pocket itself is called fat tape. So it's basically a part of a seamstress tape just cut off. This is one of Norella's images. And then I had a little journal card here. This is from the Ticket Duo set rubber stamps. And then this is the tiny postcard rubber stamp that I offer in my shop. I made another little pocket. And in this one, I had a scrap left over from the front cover, and I just made a little card or journaling spot. And then this flips over. This is a coloring book page and an image from, I don't know, if it's not one, it might be one fine day. I've, I've just forgotten. And this is from the Charming Forest, and I had a little strip left over from another portion I'll show you in a little moment. And this was a little slit of a pocket that I made and it just so happens that this fit right in there and I just thought it was kind of cute and you can see it behind here butterfly from Norella in fact if I show you it say it's a digital image it's pretty much from Norella <laughs> this was a card as part of a stationary set that was my a gift for my mother-in-law and this is another one of Norella's images this is a scrapbook paper then this flips over. This is one of my mixed media, what is this? This is a pocket envelope tutorial that I have. And then I have a long journaling card behind it. This altered paper clip holds it closed. And then inside I have a four by four journaling card. Again with the white glider. This is the henna rose. And then don't forget to fly also stamps in my shop. Behind the little butterfly postage is a tiny little library card and another tiny postcard. Over here, I made a little pocket on a piece of book page that I painted blue and then I used white embossing powder in the corner roses around the edge there so that it would give a nice little texture. Behind here, I've got another piece of handmade paper and I made a little cluster collage on top of it. Behind here is from the Wildflowers digital kit from Norella. And this is from the Paris kit. I just had a bunch of leftover things that I just decided to put together. And then this flip, so this isn't part of the actual accordion base. This is a tip in. Over here I made a little tag and another little journal card. This was a sticker. This is a stamp from my shop again, the love stamp. Over here, I made a dyed paper with avocado dye, and I trimmed this off. That's where that piece came from that was over here. This is the tiny canning jar stamp, and then I used a stencil on top. This is a piece of scrapbook paper, and then one of Norella's images over a book page, and I left the inside pretty plain. Here I made a little notepad so that it flips up and you have several little pages in it. 
and then this flips over and we have a flip out page this is some of my tattered angels mop up papers and I use the corner roses around the edge. This is from One Fine Day. I'm not, I can't remember for sure which one this is from. <laughs> Over here, I had a little envelope that I made out of a scrap of book page that was painted. And then I just made a couple of little tags or tall journal cards. Also from the Wildflowers from Calico Collage. Then I have a belly band pocket, so this goes all the way through, and you can pull this out. I had another purple card that I just stuck inside here. Scrapbook paper, one of Norella's images. I happen to have these bridge score papers, so I thought, well, I'll just stick those in there as an additional writing. And then this is, again, another scrapbook paper that I tri-fold, and then I added a little tear-off notepad, and we added some bling, and, of course, a book page scrapped so now we're at the last or back of the journal and because it's an accordion file it's kind of like a never-ending journal it flips this way and when you're over here this is wallpaper and behind here is a mop-up paper that I made on some graph paper this is a little folio that I made using the butterfly collection stamp on top of book page and then I had some scrapbook paper that I just cut to fit as a little trifold. I have a little pocket here. This was a garment tag that I covered with some scrapbook paper and a little scrap of a notepad that I have. Book paper, this is from the apothecary kit. This was some leftovers from a project a long, long, long time ago where I had stamped a little patuckalope with Angela. Is it Angela? I always get her name wrong. From Pink Odd Bird. This is another piece of handmade paper that was left over from making that little journal card earlier. This is a tip in and has a little pocket. That's the Tim Holtz die. And I backed it with a piece of paper and then I just added some of Norella's digital images on top. Inside here is a journal card that, or journal tag that I made a long time ago and I just added the fabric on it. And then we flip this over and we've got from the Shabby Rose, I think, or Shabby Chic page behind here. This was a little tear off notepad that I glued down. An envelope and then I happened to make this mixed media paper a while ago and I just happened to see it the day we were doing the live and I just cut it to be a card to fit inside the envelope sticker the corner roses rubber stamp this flips over another scrap of paper another sticker on this side and then I added the words and then this flips up and you've got writing space back here this is a little pocket. This is from the Dancing Dragonflies. That's a digital in my shop or physical. I have a few of those left. And then a pocket here made into the Amarillo Rose page. And then this flips over. And then we go back this way. And I have another pocket here. This was a fabric or upholstery sample. And it came on this card. I added the butterfly and the word butterfly. And then I decided to cover the back side of it because it was the information about the fabric with a piece of scrapbook paper and added a digital from Calico Collage. And then I took another scrapbook paper and added one of those little tear off notepads in the word journal from Calico Collage. And then this opens up and has a little pocket. And this was a mixed media card or just a card that I made a while back. And then a piece of copy dyed index card that goes in here. Up here I have a little journal card and have a tall skinny journal tag card. These are all from Calico Collage. Then this was a piece of scrapbook paper I had left over and so I opened it into or made it into a little envelope and I had a little scrap of gray paper on my desk and I made it into a little journal card to fit inside. The Keep an Open Mind, I think that's from the Unicorn Dreams journal kit. It could be Exquisite Dreamer. 
Over here, I have various items on a scrapbook paper. This was a scrapbook piece of cardstock, a beeline designs, butterfly, I stamped in the background. This was something that was given to me where a lady was working on a project and then quit working on it, so she just gave me all the stuff. Another piece of that paper that was left over from the card that I made on the front cover, and I made that into just a tall, skinny little piece. And sometimes I put thread in my handmade paper, so you'll see that sticking out every once in a while. This is from All About Robins. This was a scrap that someone had sent to me as well. Just kind of rearrange that. Over here, I had another pocket. This was a painted book page that I used a circle stencil. This is one of Norella's lined papers that I stamped. This is from the Apothecary Garden. This is from one of the Easter kits of Norella's. Over here, I have an altered paper clip, so I'll pull that off so you can see just the paper clip. And so it has lots of little goodies. These were from Tim Holtz, and I had a piece of fabric. And then this was a journal card that I stamped with the cone flower. Underneath here, I have a piece of scrapbook paper that I had left over and a journal card that I stamped at the top. This was another Tim Holtz piece as well. So this goes back in here, and then this goes like that. This goes here, and like that. And then this flips back over. And I forgot to show you a journal tag that was inside here. So this was another tag that was given to me, and I put it inside here. So as you can see, it just keeps going because this is the front cover again, and then you can flip, and then you just keep going. I really enjoyed this. I made a stack of papers that were eight pages. So it was one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, and then I just added papers on top of it and made this journal. I hope you like seeing a quick flip through of the results from the last two live streams. Do give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and come see me live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the description box for links to items that I use, as well as my social media connectors inside the Friendly Junk Journal, Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and my Bible into Israel Facebook group. All right, everybody, y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>